Let's talk about truth functions. In propositional logic, sometimes called truth functional logic, we have five operators that we can use to create compound statements out of simple statements. So we have connective operators like dot, wedge, horseshoe, and triple bar. And we have tilde, our non-connective operator that we can use to negate propositions. Now in every compound proposition, we have what's called the main operator. The main operator of a compound proposition is the operator that's outside of parentheses and brackets other than tilde. So in the statement a dot b, that dot is the only operator outside of parentheses and brackets. It's the only operator, period. And that operator is the main operator of the statement a dot b. But what about a statement like this, tilde a? If tilde is the only operator outside of parentheses and brackets, then tilde is the main operator. So in this statement, tilde A, tilde is the main operator. How about this statement? We've got a tilde, we've got a horseshoe, and we've got a wedge. Which one's the main operator? You said horseshoe, you're right. Now how about this statement though? We've got a tilde, a triple bar, and another tilde. And here our second rule here applies. Tilde is the only operator outside of parentheses and brackets, and so consequently it's the main operator of that statement. Now how about this one? We've got a tilde, we've got a dot, we've got another tilde, a wedge, and another tilde. What's the main operator of this statement? You can see right here that we have two operators outside of parentheses and brackets. We've got a wedge and we've got a tilde. But remember what the first rule says. All operators outside of parentheses and brackets other than tilde are the main operator. So that in this case, wedge is our main operator. And look at this mess. We've got a tilde, we've got a wedge, we've got a dot, we've got a triple bar, another tilde, another dot, and a horseshoe. Whew, a lot of operators here. Which is the operator outside of parentheses and brackets? Now you may be tempted to say that this triple bar right here is the main operator because it doesn't appear to be in any brackets, but if we look carefully, we can see it's in this third set of brackets here on the outside. So in this case, tilde is the main operator of this statement. Now, what's important for us is that the truth value of the main operator is going to indicate the truth value of the entire sentence. So the truth value of a dot b as an entire statement is gonna be indicated by whether or not the dot is true or false. And we can determine whether or not the dot is true or false by determining the truth values of the component parts of the entire statement a dot b. Similarly down here with this big messy statement here, we can determine whether or not this tilde is true or false by determining the truth values of all of the component parts of this very big statement. And that's what we're gonna focus on in this thought primer is how do we determine the truth truth values of main operators.